Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share with you how to overwinter your favorite pepper plants so you can grow them again next year. Now in case you're not familiar with the term overwinter, basically what that means is you're doing what you can to keep the plant alive over the winter time and then when the spring comes it's going to grow again fresh new growth and brand new peppers now peppers most people think of as an annual which means you plant them from seed you they flower and fruit and die all in one season but they're actually a tender perennial and with a few tips and tricks you can grow them so that they can come back again next year now this pepper plant here is a sugar rush orange peach super hot pepper it's still producing very well so it's not quite ready for overwintering but let me head over to the other side here where we've had some cold damage on some of the pepper plants so the first thing you want to look for is a pepper plant that's pretty much done producing and is starting to look not so great so this one over here is uh, one of my favorites in fact i think this is the purple pepper here Yes, it's called the blot pepper, and it was a gorgeous pepper, but you can see the leaves are kind of spotted, they're kind of withered, which means that, you know, we've had some nights in the 40s, so this pepper is pretty much done. So, so I'm going to show you two different ways to overwinter your pepper plants today. The first one we're going to talk about is if you're a southern gardener, live in the southern U.S., and you can overwinter your pepper plants outside. So first off, look for a pepper plant that's not doing so well, like I mentioned. And secondly, we're going to prune our pepper plants and this applies to southern gardeners and northern gardeners, what you want to look for is a Y in the plant. And you want to prune your plants above one of the growth nodes above the Y here. So we're going to cut off these upper leaves. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want all the energy to go into keeping the pepper plant alive over the winter time, not to producing uh, new leaves and new fruit. So we've got one Y here, We've got another Y right here. So we're gonna prune all these leaves off. We do have a couple little peppers hanging on here. So we'll take those off as well. A little extra treat. And it looks really severe once you've pruned your plant, but it's really gonna help conserve its energy over the winter time. And our goal over the winter is not to uh, keep the plants like producing or flowering, but just to keep them alive. So take off one more branch here, and then we're going to go ahead and take off all the leaves too. Now for your southern climate gardeners who rarely get freezes in the winter time, what you can do now is just leave your pepper plant right in place. But you do want to heavily mulch the base of the plant to protect the roots on those nights where it does get pretty cold. So I'm just putting a couple inches of leaf mulch around the base here. And you don't have to overly water your pepper plants during the winter time. Just keep the soil damp and moist, just enough to keep them alive. And that's all you have to do for you southern gardeners. It's super easy. And then once the springtime comes, you're going to see brand new growth. If you have a lot of warmth in the wintertime, you might even see some new leaf growth over the wintertime, which is perfectly normal. Now for you northern gardeners who get lots of hard freezes, your ground is mostly frozen all winter long, what you want to do at this point before you get heavy freezes is dig your plant out and take it inside and put it in a protected location. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the same plant here. What you want to do is just kind of dig a nice little circle around your plant. Try and get down underneath it, kind of loosen it up. You want to get those good roots out. Lift out the plant. If the roots break a little bit, no big deal. Don't worry about it. And then what I'm going to do is kind of knock the soil off. The big thing about bringing plants indoors is you don't want to bring the bugs indoors. There's no natural predators indoors. So there might be bugs or bug eggs in the soil. So just knock as much soil off as you can. Look at those roots, those look really nice. And then we're gonna pot it up in a container. Now what I like to do is spray the pepper plant off to get any unwanted bugs off the plant before I bring it inside. So don't be afraid to give it a good hard spray really rinse it off and then what I always like to do just to be on the safe side before I bring a plant inside 
is give it a spray with some kind of organic pesticide. This is Bonide's Insecticidal Super Soap, which takes care of a lot of different types of pests. So it's a good thing to have around in your garden tool shed. I'm spraying the soil really well. Take care of any bug eggs, spraying the plant. And then you definitely want to keep an eye on this when it's in the house. In case any bugs pop out, give it another spray. Now what I'm going to do is put my pepper plant in a container. Now I'm using a five gallon Calichem Smart Pot here. You could probably actually fit two pepper plants in a five gallon container. So I've got some organic potting soil in here. This is fresh new potting soil because again, we're not taking the risk of bringing bugs into the house. So fresh out of the bag. It's pre-moistened just a little bit. And I'm digging a hole, putting my pepper plant in, tucking the roots in, and then backfilling to cover up the roots. And I think I'll put a little more soil here in this pot just to kind of give my pepper plant a little bit more support. You really don't need to fill it all the way up to the top. Now a couple of things your pepper plants are gonna to need to stay alive over the winter time. Number one is warmth, number two is light. So in northern climates, what you wanna do is take your plant inside, put it by a sunny window. Now it doesn't need eight to 10 hours of light because remember, we're just giving it enough warmth and light to keep it alive over the winter time. We're actually sending it into dormancy. So put it by a window that might get a few hours of sunlight, put it near a grow light where it might get a few hours of light a day. You don't need to leave your light on for eight to 10 hours, just enough to keep your plant alive. The next thing let's talk about is water. Now you definitely don't want to overwater your pepper plants when you're overwintering them. Again, just enough to keep it alive. So you just want your soil to be barely moist, barely damp. You don't need to water it every day by any means. You probably want to, want to water it every two to three weeks. So we're just gonna dampen up the soil just a little bit. And then when it starts to look dry in the house or if you're overwintering it outside, give it a nice little drink. But again, don't overwater your pepper plants during the winter. The next thing let's talk about is fertilizing. They really don't need fertilizer over the winter because we really don't want to stimulate a lot of brand new growth. So just skip the fertilizing. Once things start to warm up in the springtime, say the nights get into the 60s, you're gonna to wanna to take your pepper plant back outside and at that point in time, you can start fertilizing it regularly, watering it regularly to encourage the brand new leafy growth and brand new peppers. Now overwintering pepper plants is a great way to either regrow your favorite plants next year or just to give you a jump on your spring planting because you'll be starting brand new peppers from seed most likely in the spring, but you'll have a few plants that are already growing already producing leaves and give you peppers to harvest that much sooner. Now, little word of caution here. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, overwinter pepper plants don't make it. So you might want to, you know, overwinter three to five plants. Let me know down below if you're going to be overwintering your pepper plants this winter time, what varieties you're going to be overwintering. It's going to be so much fun to see those brand new leaves and peppers pop out. Head over to CaliCamGardenHome.com, 25% off this weekend with the code Calicum 25. So make sure you grab one of my pepper seed collections and my Calicum Smart Pot so that you can overwinter your peppers along with me. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.